Hello student, this is Anup Sawa from Kolkata. Again, I am coming a new video on the series of video with a topic on capacitance. Okay, so right now I am going to introduce the topics. The topic is the capacity of an isolated conducting sphere. It's a very easy topic, and I think that you will learn it very quickly. Okay, so let's start. So suppose here this is a conducting sphere now again i am supposing that it has a radius r and if charge will be given to it charge will remain outside the surface that is the outer surface okay it will not go inside it's a condition that um, actually there is there remains no charge inside the conductor okay so charge will be just on the outer side okay so what will be the potential V whenever the charge is given to any conductor potential will rise as it is a sphere we can assume that charge the whole charge given is concentrated at the center let us suppose the Q charge is given Q charge is given to it okay so we can assume we can assume that the whole charge Q is concentrated at the center and due to this okay due to this the potential at the surface will be equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r okay so this is the just the expression for the potential uh, at a point uh, which is distant r from the any charge q okay so if the charge is q over here okay so at a distance r that is on the surface the common pot the potential will be equal to q by 4 pi epsilon 0 r so now we know very well that capacity that is c is equal to q by v okay from the previous video we know that in the introductory video on the capacitance i have told that it is the ability to hold the charge and uh, it is numerically equal to the charge given to rise the potential by unity so this is equal to charge per unit potential that is charge per unit um, if the potential is measured in volt then per unit volt coulomb per unit volt whatever so c is equal to q by v okay so if i am putting the value of q by v from here i will get the result 4 pi epsilon 0 r so c will be equal to 4 pi epsilon 0 r this is the value in si system and uh, just we are multiplying the radius with 4 pi epsilon naught so this is the value in SI system if I am to find out the value in CJ system C will be just equal to K R this is in SI system ok and this will be in CJ system and the unit will be equal to state farad okay and what is the k here over here k is actually just the dielectric constant okay and if the if there is air so in that case k will be equal to 1 so that's it i told you it's a very easy topics and i think uh, you will learn it very quickly thank you for watching this video thank you again thank you